Little has changed for the South Korean soldiers down below. They still watch the border with the North, their fingers on triggers. But civilians who come here seem to have an extra optimism in their gaze. Uh, you see the person? Yes. It's the Olympic friendship with North Korea, he says. It feels like my dream of unification with that other part of Korea and of me. It's becoming real. For most South Koreans, this is as close as it gets. A glance across the frozen river into the frozen north. A border bristling with armaments and soldiers facing off against each other since the last time they fought almost seven decades ago. That's long left a yearning to reunite. In fact, it's an official national goal here. Now, though, the dream is being questioned as a delusion. In villages along the barbed wire border, <laughs> seniors play cards and talk about nuclear threats from the north in hushed tones. <laughs> Those are very scary people, she says. Believe me. In Seoul student district, young people especially are abandoning the idea. Polls say one in ten South Koreans have stopped supporting unification in the past four years. And among 20-somethings, seven out of ten say it's just not necessary. Getting a job itself is getting more difficult. Not when youth unemployment is at a record high. Jong Jung Won is an artist in his small basement flat. He says among his friends, the North holds no emotional appeal. People my generation uh, has um, the, don't longer have the luxury to think about the grand picture of the nation. Besides, for Kim Dyong Hwan, there are better ways to prevent war. I think the perspective of viewing the reunification is going to change in our generation, and we are going to um, imagine the different um, resolution to keep the peace between North and South. Meaning that by the time today's students are running South Korea, unification may well be seen as a naive old dream and the North as a distant land having little in common. Sasha Petrosek, CBC News, Seoul.